Hi there, welcome back. In this video, we are going to demonstrate five of our most popular Docker containers which we used and we deployed them in our LXC container as Docker Compose files. After that, we will show you all of our tested and working Docker Compose files for containers in our Docker Stacks library project in GitHub that you can use. The instructions for this video can be found on our blog page. Please have a look down below for the link. In our Proxmox server, we have this LXC container here. And in there, we have deployed all the applications that we are going to demonstrate today and more. We will start with Nextcloud. If you open our instructions, you will find a link to the video where we have the instructions how to do this installation. And then here is a link to the browser. Notice that we have tigerloseyourip.com. In your case, it will be your server IP address, colon, and the port number. As you can see, this works. There are great plugins available for this, and one of them that we recommend is this. Let me open it up in my Linux. Only Office is one of the best, let's say it is the best Microsoft Office compatible programs that you can use. And the reason for that is that it creates true compatible documents. If I open up a Word document, this exact document when printed from only Office or from Microsoft Office, will produce the same results. The others don't have that 100% compatibility. So we recommend you install only Office inside Nextcloud. We are not going to continue with this because we want to show you all the others. We have provided the instructions. We have provided the link to the video. Here is the link to the video so that you can see how to do the complete installation as well as how to configure the application. Our goal is to provide you with the taste of the applications and also to provide you with a link to the video so that you can go and watch the video and see how to configure that application as well. The next one that we want to look at is VS Code Server. Likewise, here is the link to the video where we show you how to do the installation and how to configure it. We will now demonstrate this application in our browser. If you look carefully, we've set it up so that tigerloseyourip.com is your server IP address and port 8181. So let's open this in the browser. I'm going to change the theme. Let's go for a dark theme. As you can see, this is VS Code, but running self-hosted on your server. As we mentioned earlier, in our instructions, we have provided you with a link to the video where you can get the instructions and also how to configure this. Next, we are going to demonstrate P2 
penguin or penguin as some people call it. So let's go to our instructions. As we said earlier, we are providing you with a link to the video as well as a link to open this in the browser. In your case, replace this with your server IP address colon 3000. So let's open Penguin or Penguin. Penguin is a very popular file hosting system where you can share files. We used Penguin to replace OneDrive and to host it locally on our server, as you can see. So go here, click on this link here, where we will show you how to install it in this video, and we will also show you how to configure it. Next, we will demo what I call Gypsy Meat, but it's actually Jitsi Meat. Here is the link to the instructions, and let's open this in the browser. In your case, it will be your server IP address colon 8900. You can use Jitsi Meet to replace Microsoft Teams. You will notice that most of these videos that we are going to demonstrate to you are alternative self-hosting videos for services that you use that are free when you self-host them. I am sure you get the impression that Jitsi Meet is a good alternative for Microsoft Teams. Then we will show you Navidrome. Once again, we've provided you with a link to the video where we show you how to install this and how to configure this. In your case, you will use your server IP address colon 4533 and then slash app. You could leave the last part out. It will take you there automatically anyway. You are paying for various services that allow you to listen to your music. With Navidrome, we self-host this for free. All these applications that we have demonstrated today are free. And as we mentioned earlier, we provided a link here to the video so that you can see how to install it and how to configure it. Now, one of the applications I use the most and all the time is Docs. Some people call it Dockage. The developer refers to this as Docs similar to the vehicle Dodge. We've provided a link here to show you how to install it. There are two applications we recommend you use, Portana and Docs. So if you like Portana, use Portana. There are similarities between Portana and Docs. Personally, I like Docs. I use them both, but I like Docs because it makes it quicker and easier. It's got some nice features. As you can see here, all these applications we demonstrated are running on the server. We mentioned earlier in this video that we have a library of Dockerized containers that you can install using the Docker Compose file. You will see a special feature that Docs has that Portana doesn't have for using them. Let us open our Docker Hub. Here, here is our Docker Stacks. We will provide a link to this down below. Now, if you open this, there's something like 40 or 50, I haven't counted them, applications that you can install. There is a wealth. And we only publish applications here that work. So here we have Joplin. Here is Jellyfin. Here is Home Assistant. Here is Heimdall. Here is Dashi. To be safe. Authentic. Penpot. These are popular videos in our channel. Here's Woogle. If you self-host Woogle, 
you uh, then can use this to connect to Google and do Google searches without JavaScript and without tracking. So we have done the research, we've tested them and all of these work. So we provide you with this link. So let's take one of them. I'm going to take Google. And I'm going to open the Compose file. And copy the raw Compose file. Then I'm going to go to Docs. And I will use this feature here. Click on this. By default, it comes up with an Nginx installation that you can test. However, let's just paste what we've downloaded and then let us go back to the site. I just want to see if there's something in that ENV file. There isn't. Okay, that's fine. Now we need to give this a name. You could call it Google Search. Yes, let's call it Google Search. Copy. Now when I save it, Docs is going to test the validity of this and if it's successful, it will come up in green. As you can see, it was valid. And then we can start the container. We'll do that. This might take a while. Now we wait until it says started. While I'm waiting for this, I would like to show you another feature. So let's say you install Jitsi Meet. If you go to the top here, there's an update. It will update the container if the developers have made changes. Update will update that. So let's have a look and see if there's any new changes to Jitsi Meet. Yeah, it's pulling updates. There you are. And it's rerunning the app. So this is, these are features that make this docs easy to use. I like what they've done here. This is a very well planned and thought interface. Now let's go back to Google search. It says active here. So let's see. It says it's healthy. So we should be able to open this in the browser. And if you look at the, at the bottom here, when I move my mouse over there, it shows you the URL. I have problems getting this to work in Portana. It's probably I haven't configured it correctly or I haven't read the documentation and completed the configuration. But this has never been a problem with Docs. It works from the first time. So let's click this and open this container. Now I'm going to search for Mesopotamia. The cradle of our civilization. What you'll notice the difference between this and a Google search. First of all, there's no ads. You may have noticed that there are no ads. It pr brings up the images there as well. You may also have noticed how fast this came down. As you can see, Docs is actually extremely useful. I am sure you will find a library of tested and working Docker containers in our GitHub very useful. Please give us a like, subscribe to our channel as we haven't reached our target yet. Tell us what language you speak so that in the next video we can greet you. And with that we say, Baie danki tot sins. Grazie mille a me. Ciao. Yesu sinaderfe. A vide sein mein Freund. Domo arigato tomadachi. Sayonara.